The Phoenix real estate market has been in a seller's market since 2015, and the market has been in a sizzling hot seller's market for a while now. So when should we expect to come crashing back to normal? This is Cindy Nelson with Realty One Group with this month's real estate market update. In the real estate market, when demand exceeds supply, prices go up. The greater the difference between supply and demand, the faster prices will rise. It's good to be a seller in a seller's market. There's less expense to stage and market a home. Sellers make few, if any, concessions to buyers in a seller's market. Buyers waive contingencies, inspections, and repairs, knowing they have to compete. Sellers have more offers to choose from, and more offers can drive the price up, even over market value, which is what we've been seeing recently. A buyer who buys in a seller's market may have to deal with competition, but the end result may be worth it. Their new home will continue to appreciate in value quickly with the hot market. However, many of us remember the pain of 2005 and 2006 when the market crashed, and we saw a wave of foreclosures, short sales, and a drop in home prices. People are concerned that we're headed that way again given the tremendous price increases of the last two years. For prices to drop, we must first move from a seller's market to a balanced market, and then to a steady buyer's market. In 2005, when demand skyrocketed, that demand was caused by market conditions. Speculators, easy access to money, and a market that was being manipulated by outside forces. One thing to note about that time, though home prices skyrocketed, rental prices barely moved. The demand was not real demand. Flash forward to today and the demand is real. Valley population continues to grow faster than construction of homes. While our home prices have appreciated at astronomical values, so have rental prices because the demand is real. There's a real need for housing. In the last few months, our market has softened. In 2005, when the market began to fall, it took eight months to move from the peak of the market to a balanced market, and then another six months before we started to see prices fall. If current trends continue, we could see a balanced market by the end of the year, or maybe early next year, or later, or this could just be a seasonal shift. No one really knows. However, population growth continues in the valley and people need places to live. More construction permits are approved every day, but home building takes time. Though it's nearly impossible to predict the future, it is likely that demand will continue to outpace supply for quite some time, assuring a continued seller's market for the foreseeable future, but perhaps a gentler one to buyers. And though the market is softening, it would take a major influx of supply to handle the current demand and move us into a balanced market, let alone a buyer's market. And we don't see that coming from anywhere very quickly. We can't predict the future, but we can take action today based on what's happening today. And today's market is great for sellers and it's still really good for buyers. And when it's your time to move, I can help. I'm Cindy Nelson, Realtor and Resort and Second Home Property Specialist with Realty One Group.